All right, welcome back here to the Xfinity Sports Report, your Colorado High School connection. Brian Roth back with his advertised. Joined in studio by the 5A Volleyball State Champions, the Sabercats of Castleview. We have Holly Schmidt, Leanne Lowry, and head coach Scott Dowis. Guys, thanks for joining us. Holly, let me start with you and with a state championship. Give me an idea. What was that moment like when you knew it was official and you guys were state champs? Um, it was surreal to me. I had I didn't even know what to do. I was so happy and like proud of my team. We just got in this huge circle. I didn't even know what to think. I was just super happy. I <laughs> yeah, and, and it was a roller coaster ride that day. We're going to get to that in a second. But Leanne, I mean, here you are. You guys are crowned state champs, yeah. first volleyball championship in school history. What was it like? Oh well, to be honest, I was really exhausted because it was a long day. <laughs> but afterwards, I just let it all out by crying, and we was. Just, so awesome because we're all hugging each other and screaming and like just to see the crowds and families all get together is really great. All right, so let's give you a little backstory on the day for Castleview. They had been upset in pool play on Friday, so they got to the Denver Coliseum on Saturday. They did not know if they were even going to play a match. They had to await the Rock Canyon Coronado match. They needed Coronado to win to keep their season alive. You guys had no control over that, Scott, and yet Coronado gets the victory. All of a sudden, you guys are alive and you go on a run, but what was that feeling like going to the Denver Coliseum, not knowing if your season was over or if there was still a little crack in that door? We were down, you know, we, we thought that our season was probably over. And so we, I mean, it was, it's hard to explain exactly the, the vibe of the team, but it wasn't our normal, uh, chip ourselves. So, um, yeah, so, and then watching that match, I was more nervous watching that match than any match I've ever coached, any match I've ever watched. I couldn't even sit down. Yeah, and you have, you the, have no control, right? No I mean, control. And I've also never, as a coach or a player, ended my season watching somebody else play. It's always <laughs> ended on the court. Right. So that was a weird feeling. So, yeah, that feeling of helplessness was not fun. Yeah, and, and Holly, what, what was it like then when Coronado beats Rock Canyon pool play? All of a sudden that gets you guys back into the tiebreaker. Your season is still alive. What, what was that like? I think we all had hope, and I think we all were ready to fight for that spot. We wanted it, and I think once we got that opportunity, we weren't going to let it slip. And Leanne, tell me, I mean, you know, you guys think that perhaps your season may be over. What was that feeling like when you guys knew you got that second chance? Well, so getting that second chance, we were just all so fired up, and like we were all dialed in to just focus on just playing because we would never have that moment ever again with all of us all together. Yeah, so you go to the tie break. You have to beat Rock Canyon again. You do 25-23. Then a marathon match against uh, Fossil Ridge that goes five sets, and you go into the state championship match. And it, tell, tell me, what was that feeling like? You guys get that second chance, Scott. You go into the championship match. You're facing a, a blue blood in the sport in Cherry Creek. I mean, uh, I imagine at that point you had to like your momentum. Yeah, I mean, I would say Cherry Creek had a lot of momentum too. I right, mean, they just twenty straight, right? They just beat. They won twenty in a row. They just beaten Chaparral, who was a really good opponent in three. Um, but I mean, for us, I think a big part of it was getting there and, and having that second chance. I think really uh, dialed our, te our team in a little bit more. I think they're a little bit more focused. And when you feel like something is taken from you, that you felt like you had a really good chance of of, of winning, and then you get a second chance, I really just think our girls weren't gonna let that pass them by. Yeah, so. so you guys come out and play well in the Cherry Creek match. Holly, you guys win the first two sets, looking like you're cruising. Well, what happened in sets three and four because Cherry Creek was able to come back on you guys? I think we just lost a little bit of our energy. I think we got up and we just, we thought that we had it. And then I think we just let a little bit of our energy go down. Yeah, and how were you able to back, bounce back, Leanne? Because mm -hmm. you have all the momentum after the first two. Next thing you know, Cherry Creek takes three and four. You're in the fifth with no momentum. How were you guys able to wrestle that back? Yeah, well, some of our seniors took control when we get into that fifth set, just saying, like, hey, guys, we all love each other. We're just going to, like, take this moment and just go out there and play. And I remember when we had 14, I believe, our coach called a timeout, and he's like, I'm going to set down the clipboard, and I just want to tell you guys that I love you. And I think that just gave us the momentum to go out and play. Yeah. What, what, what was the uh, mindset for you as the head coach going into the fifth, knowing that Cherry Creek, uh, not only they beat you in three and four, but, but they beat you pretty good? Yeah. Uh, we, well, we, we changed our lineup a little bit. Uh, we kept the same players. We rotated our lineup um, you know, into the four, third and fourth set. Uh, we had, I, you know, we, we won the first two, so I had confidence thinking we'll do the same thing. And that fifth set, I knew we had to change something. So I rotated around. I put Kate Menz. Left front, she's one of our 
uh, best attackers that had Holly serving first as well. And so she's one of our best servers. And so I thought that hopefully would be the difference and luckily barely. <laughs> yeah, and, and indeed Castleview would win it in the fifth set and they take down their first ever volleyball state championship. Holly, what was the reception like uh, the next week at school? It was insane. I, we walked in <clears throat> and everybody watching us, all the supporters we had, we had so many people at all of our games and having, seeing all those people there supporting us. And then when we went up to have speeches and we all just, we started crying because we weren't <laughs> ready for the season to be over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun to be able to experience it as a team, right, Leanne? But, to, but then to have your school be able to yeah. help experience that with you must yeah, have been definitely. fun. Um, well, just like going in that next day, uh, that Monday, everyone was just saying congrats. And that was probably the most thank yous that I've ever had to say. But yeah, it was just surreal, like just to have everyone behind us. And it was really amazing. All right, a couple final thoughts before we let the uh, team go here. Scott, tell me a little bit about these two that start with Leanne. She's a libero and is an exceptional defensive player. And then, of course, you get Holly on the outside. Right. So Leanne, obviously, she's only a sophomore. So, I mean, she's skilled way beyond her years and, and very mature, too, as a player uh, and as a person. So, I mean, that's a huge asset for us, one, that she's able to, to play at such a high level at such a, a young age. It really, And this is a position that is a, there's a lot of pressure. You know, you're kind of spotlighted. You know, Holly played JV last year, and, and before the season started, I thought, you know what, Holly's going to be an awesome backup. She's going to be the first kid off the bench. She's going to really give us some depth and then this summer when we started playing she basically from day one was like through her play I'm the starter and yeah. just really throughout the season continued to grow and grow and progress and then I mean developed into a just tremendous tremendous athlete you know really a lot of growth this year from Holly so it's pretty yeah. awesome. That has to be fun I mean a little extra work in the summer. Yeah it was super fun. <laughs> yeah I know you want to play some college volleyball coming yeah. up uh, next year uh, tell me about your future plans. Um, I'm hoping to play in college. I'm talking to a couple colleges right now. Okay, perfect. And then Leanne, we mentioned she's only a, a sophomore. You've already committed to the University of mm -hmm. Iowa in the Big yep. Ten. Yeah. yeah Why it's Iowa? Crazy. Yeah. Um, well, my dad grew up in Iowa and we just had connections there, but also I had my top five schools that I was looking at. And when I visited there, they just treated me like I was at home. So it was just really amazing. Well, very cool. You guys are going to lose eight seniors, including Holly, but Scott, I know you'll be back. Leanne's going to be back. And, um, hey, looking for big things out of the Sabercats coming up next year. Guys, congratulations. Appreciate it and continue to enjoy it. Thank Thanks, you. Brian. All right, that's Castle View Volleyball. And that's going to wrap up this portion of the program. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll get you right back to high school football highlights. That's next right here on the Xfinity Sports Report. Sam's Club is a proud sponsor of high school athletics in Colorado. A Sam's Club membership more than pays for itself with exclusive savings on the things you need. Carrying the leading national brands, Sam's Club makes sure you get the best quality and value at member prices. And Sam's Club offers their members the most choices on how to shop. Sam's Club, off East Woodman Road in Colorado Springs, a proud sponsor of high school football.